What's up, guys? Toast again. Welcome back to Fish Yacker. I'm back here at the Express Susquehanna River jet boat that I've been rigging lately. Let's talk a little about boat rigging and this little job from Yak Attack. So, guys, if you've been following me for very long, you know I've always done a lot of kayak rigging. And a big basis for all my rigging exploits have been utilizing tracks. And if you've been kayak fishing for long, you might know that until the last couple of years, these were aftermarket and you didn't find a lot of them pre-installed from the factory on your kayak. So this is just one of the first little improvements I did here on the Express. Again, it's a Express HD 17 VJ. It's a double reinforced hull with a 6040 Merc on it. But I uh, basically took a Yak Attack track, mounted it right here on the console, so then I could attach my Yak Attack cup holder, which again serves a million different purposes. Only a small percentage of those reasons you might use it is actually to hold a drink. But uh, it's got little... Uh, cuts here in the lip so you can actually leave hooks across in your lures. I stick hooks from lures to dry here in these drilled out holes here in the back. Super durable and all it is is a T mount here right into the track. Right over here you can also see one of my little camera mounts so it can be kind of a little point of view when I'm driving the boat. But if you've bought a fairly recent over the last few years especially the aluminum boats like this from Express, G3, Low, a lot of them, they're actually installing tracks right up here in the gunnel. So as you see, it goes all along the side over there. And that's something we uh, kayak anglers are a lot more familiar with than a lot of the uh, big boat guys. You may have seen one of the recent videos I did too. I actually took a couple of these wing knobs from Yak Attack and then deadlined a Harbor Freight magnet bar, and then I mounted it right here into the track. Issue you have is a lot of the tracks you have on these boats, like this one here, that track is actually at an offset angle. This is at a 45 degree angle here in the Express. Some may be at a slightly different angle, 60, 30 degrees, so forth. But again, this one's at 45. And a lot of your accessories you get from the track Accessory manufacturers are actually designed to fit typically on a flush surface, a flush flat surface, or possibly on a vertical angle. So flat or vertical, right? So how do you get around that 45 degree angle? Well, Yak Attack came out with this little job. So this one here is with a 45 degree offset. It's a track adapter. It's got one of their wing nuts on it. And then a T-mount. So this thing's cool too, because you don't actually have to take it all the way from the end of the track. You simply loosen it. That T-bolt right here will straighten out. You simply put it into the track, line it up, and then uh, tighten it down. And you have a horizontal point to attach any of your accessories on. and you're good to go. So there you go. And essentially just very similar to what they have on their Mighty Mounts is essentially an angled Mighty Mount. You can put your track mounted style accessories right there. Holds it super stable, super firm. So a little bonus for you here. Again, another closer look at the Yak Attack multi-mount cup holder. Again, it's a track mounted cup holder that they have when you get it. This is how it comes. You'll see it's threaded here on the bottom. Again, it's got these small indentations here in the lip where you can put hooks for your lures to dry. I've talked before about how I like these holes in the back. I can hang my uh, Elastec soft plastics here. And if I got a couple extra Standard soft plastic, I'll throw them inside so they're not touching and they don't eat away at each other. 
So you get that, you get a little Ziploc, you got a gasket here that goes on top, and there's your T-bolt. So once you've got your angled adapter in place, simply take your accessory, slide it into place, tighten it down. You'll be tightening the T-bolt up into the bottom of the accessory. Snug it down. And there you go. Super easy inexpensive little upgrade for you no bolting necessary you don't have to drill anything into your gunnel or your hull of your boat that thing is snug solid you can use this for so many different accessories especially from yak attack you can put rod holders you can use them for nets you can put a cup holder like this you could use it to mount accessories like electronics Obviously, a lot of people will simply bolt their electronics here on the bow, or like I showed you there on the console. But again, no drilling necessary. If you've got a track on your boat, get these adapters, and it'll open up a whole lot more accessories for you. I'll put some links down below in the description. Go and check those out. If you haven't yet, be sure to click and subscribe to the Fish Yacker YouTube channel. Give us that thumbs up. Share the video on all your social media outlets. And we'll catch you on the water. FishYacker.com The original kayak rigging video series.